So I'm working on the cover for the stern locker. I've got it fit pretty well. But I've got to work out a way to latch it and make it sit there good. I've got the first cleat temporarily mounted on there. And that cleat forces the locker to be in the right place this way so that the gaps are all kind of the same. The problem is And I knew this. This whole surface is curved. I don't know if you can see this, but it's out quite a bit from one side to the other. It's over half an inch, and it's curved. fix that I've got to curve this locker which is curved a little but not much it's curved a little because I've planed this cleat to match this curve down here But that's not enough, because when I put it in here, I've got a center line on the boat, and a center line on the seat. So when I put it in here, It's still not curved enough and if I'm going to put a latch in the middle it has to be curved more than this locker so that when I push down on the latch these two wings compress and everything sits flat and doesn't sit there and rattle for the rest of its life so I've got to get more curve in this thing than the boat has so that when I press it down it's flat and latch it. Alright. Now the pins in this cleat 
dry fit, no glue yet, are meant to provide precise alignment so I get that exact location when I glue it on. But those pins won't allow the two pieces to slip by one another and become more curved. I would have to remove the pins so that I could put more curve in it and now I don't have any location. So what I'm going to have to do is take the pins out but before I do I'll put some blocks on here tiny little blocks to give me the proper location this way the center line will give me the location this way and I'll actually glue a couple blocks on here to register this block, this cleat back in the right location. So that I get exactly that spacing. <clears throat> but not use nails. And the reason I'm going to do that is when I glue it, put it on a flat surface and put a couple of blocks underneath it and weights on it so that it ends up being curved. I can't do that now because these pins are actually keeping it from sliding and taking up this curve. So that's what's going to happen. I'm going to use registration blocks on here, temporary. Put the cleat on, glue it, put weight on it so that it takes up a curve. These two surfaces will slide against one another as I put the weight on. And it will take up the curve I want, I hope. It's a gamble because I don't know how much it's going to spring back. <laughs> 